Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Upskill Channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to remove a forgotten password or PN code, whether it's for a local account or one connected to a Microsoft account. The video is divided into sections, so feel free to skip to the part that's most relevant for you. The first method focuses on resetting a local account password, and it doesn't require any additional software. The second method, for accounts linked to Microsoft, will take a bit more effort but still gets the job done without losing any data. And now let's get started. Today's video is sponsored by SEO Big, the easy way to build a professional website in just one week. Whether you're starting a business, a blog, or an online store, SEOBig.se makes it fast and simple. Click the link in the description to get started. To begin, we need to open the command prompt, and there are three ways to do this. The first method involves restarting your computer while holding down the shift key. This will bring up the automatic system restore program. Where you can select troubleshoot, then advanced options, and finally command prompt. Depending on your system's configuration, you might be asked for your password at this point. If that happens, or if this method doesn't work, you can try another approach. The second method requires a Windows installation, USB, or DVD. Insert the installation media into your computer, restart it, and press a specific key like F8, F9, or F12 to access the boot menu. Once in the boot menu, select your installation media and press enter. The Windows install menu will appear, but instead of installing Windows, press Shift and F10 to open the command prompt. If Shift and F10 don't work, move on to the next method. The third method is similar to the second. Boot from the Windows installation media and wait for the installation menu to open. Instead of installing Windows, click Next and select Repair Your Computer. This will launch the automatic system recovery program, where you can click Troubleshoot and then Command Prompt. Next, you will use the following commands, which will be listed in the video description. The commands will navigate to the C drive, then to the Windows folder, and finally to the System32 folder. Then this command creates a backup of the file utilman.exe by renaming it to utilman1.exe. I will restore the original file from this backup after resetting the password. This command replaces the utilman.exe file with the cmd.exe file, allowing you to open a command prompt window when the login screen appears. Once this is done, close the command prompt window and start Windows as usual. At the login screen you will open the command prompt instead of the accessibility features. Here there are several ways to do it, but the easiest method is to type Control User Passwords 2 and press Enter. This will open the User Accounts page. From here, you can select your account and click Reset Password. However, if your account is linked to a Microsoft account, the Reset button will be disabled. If the reset button is disabled, or you want to reset the PIN or password without losing your data, follow the second method. If you don't care about the data, you can continue with this method. Click on the Advanced tab, then under the Advanced User Management section, click Advanced. This will open the User Management console. In the console, go to the Users section, double-click it, and right-click in the empty space. Select New User, give the new account any name you like, and then hit Create. After the new user is created, double-click on it, go to the Member of tab, and click Add. In the search box, click Advanced, then click Find Now. A list of groups will appear. Select Administrators, click OK, and then OK again. Close the command prompt. The new user will appear in the lower left corner of the login screen. Simply log in with this account to regain access. Now, let's restore the accessibility file. To do this, open the command prompt again using the same steps as before and navigate back to the System32 folder. Use the command to rename utilman 1.exe back to utilman.exe. This action will restore the original accessibility feature. Another way to reset the password for a local account is by using the command prompt. Once it's open, type the following command net user username new password, replacing username with the actual account name and new password with the new password you'd like to set. After entering this command, press enter. Once the command is executed, 
close the command prompt and log in using the new password. If you found this information helpful, please pause the video and give it a like. It really helps support the channel. Now let's reset the password or PIN for an account connected to a Microsoft account without losing any data. To complete this method, you'll need a second computer that isn't locked, a USB flash drive with at least 4GB of storage, and a downloaded Hiren's Boot ISO maintenance tool. I will leave the link in the video description. This method has been tested and working smoothly on Windows 7, 10, and 11. Once you've prepared these tools, you can proceed with the steps. To start, we need to download the Hiren's Boot ISO which is about 3 gigabytes in size. Next, we will also download the Rufus program to burn the Hiren's boot to the USB flash drive. Be sure to download the latest version of Rufus. The P in its name indicates that it's a portable version that runs without installation. Now, plug the USB flash drive into the computer and open the Rufus program. When prompted, click Yes to allow the program to run. Ensure you have selected the correct USB drive. Then, select the Hiren's boot ISO file from the Select option. Under Partition Scheme, choose GPT for UEFI. Once you have everything set up in Rufus, click the Start button and then OK to initiate the burning process. This may take a few minutes or more, depending on your computer's speed. After the burning process completes, click Close. Now, connect the USB drive to the computer from which you want to reset the Microsoft account password. Restart the computer, and before Windows loads, press the Skip or F9 button or F12, this varies by device, to show the boot list, and then, select the option to boot from the USB or removable devices. You will see the maintenance CD interface appear after a brief wait. This maintenance disk contains numerous tools that can help you copy files in emergencies, maintain your computer, and even create backups. For our purpose, navigate to the Security Program Group, then to Password Options, and select the Windows Login Unlocker. This program will display all user accounts on the Windows system. You will notice the Microsoft account, indicated by Yes in the Live ID column, and the Local account, which shows No for the Live ID. To reset the local account password, select the account and press the Reset button, then click OK. The program will load for a moment, and you will receive a message confirming the password reset. Next, select the Microsoft account and press the Reset Unlock button. A message will indicate that this Microsoft account is linked to the Windows account. Resetting the password will convert it into a local account. Don't worry, no data will be lost. Click OK and the program will load for a few moments before confirming the reset. Once done, close the program and restart the device. Be sure to remove the USB drive, wait for Windows to load normally. Once logged in, you will see that the local account is accessible without a password, and the Microsoft account can also be accessed directly without a PIN code. I hope you found the video helpful. Please like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.